Hi, this is Pastor Rick. It is the season in which we celebrate the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. We call it Christmas. I want to read a passage from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. It says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Nobody likes to pay taxes, and in those days they didn't have the uh, modern electronic devices, of course, and so when it came time to be counted for the population measurement and for being recognized, registered, so that they could tax you. Um, they all had to travel to their own home city where they were born, and when they went there, then they got registered and then signed up to pay taxes. And I'm sure they were all so happy about doing that. <clears throat> and then, and it says, uh, Joseph went up to Gal from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth, which is north of Jerusalem and Bethlehem, into Judea, which is in the southern part of that promised land, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. So his lineage, his ancestors, were from David and that family. And he was going to be taxed with Mary. He was engaged to be married with her. She was pregnant with uh, the child, baby Jesus, the Son of God. And, uh, and it says, and it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished to be delivered. So it was time for her to give birth to her son. And the problem was, there was no room for them, and so they ended up um, being housed in a stable, and uh, which is like a barn with the animals, and that's where she and Joseph took shelter, and where Jesus was born, it was in a stable, very uh, poor condition. And... Um, interesting term here it says there was no room for them in the end it doesn't say there was no room in the end it just said there was no room for them in the end at the christmas season when we celebrate the birth of the son of god i guess my question that i might ask of you is since jesus christ came and was born and since jesus christ gave his life to save you and me from our sin in other words, he gave his life to save our life. And God is offering his son to you and to me like a, a very precious gift, the most precious gift we'll ever receive. And he says, I'm offering my son to you. Do you have room in your life for Jesus? Just like he came to Bethlehem and there was no room at the end. Are you so busy and entangled with the things of life that you don't have room for God? and you don't have room for Jesus Christ in your personal life, I want to say to you, you need to stop and reconsider what is most important in your life. I believe with all my heart that having a place in your life to have a relationship with God through faith in His Son, Jesus Christ, is your way to receive the most wonderful gift that is being offered to you. If you are a Christian and you have received Christ in your life, then you have great reason to celebrate. If you're not a Christian, you need to think about making room in your life, your time, your heart, for a personal relationship with God through faith in His Son. If you have any questions about how to do that, I encourage you to come to our church, Living Old Baptist Church, visit a church service, or call us, make an appointment to see me and I would be glad to try to open the Bible up to you and answer your questions 
so that you would know how you can receive Christ personally. God bless you. I tr trust that you'll have a wonderful day.